हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशोहा प्रोफेसर एट स्कॉश जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो टूडे वी हैव अनदर केस ऑफ द डी एच एंड दिस डी एच वी हैव ऑपरेटेड फोर डेज बैक सो एज फार एज द सर्जिकल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द डायफेमेटिक हर्निया इज कंसर्न सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द टू प्रोसीजर सो द फर्स्ट प्रोसीजर इफ यू सी हेयर सो दिस इज द इंसीजन इन द लेफ्ट पैरा नंबर फोसा इट इज द कॉल द पैरा कॉस्टल अप्रोच सो थ्रू दिस अप्रोच वी हैव परफॉर्म द रूमनोटॉमी सो द पर्पज ऑफ डूइंग रूमनोटॉमी इज द टू सो वन पर्पज इज टू डायग्नोस आर टू कन्फर्म द केस ऑफ द डायबिटिक हर्निया एंड टू लोकेट द साइड ऑफ द डायबिटिक हर्निया वेदर इट इज द राइट साइड और लेफ्ट साइड सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस सो हर्निया वॉज लोकेटेड टूअर्ड द राइट साइड जस्ट लेटरल टू द मिड लाइन एंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस द राइट हेमी डायफेमेटिक हर्निया इज मोर कॉमन एज कम्पेयर टू द लेफ्ट एंड द दिस सेंट्रल वन सो इन द लेफ्ट ओनली द एज पर द लिटरेचर सेवन परसेंट इन द लेफ्ट थ्री परसेंट इन द सेंटर एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट इन द राइट साइड एंड द सेकेंड इज टू इवेक्ट द रूमेंट कम्प्लीटली सो दैट वेन यू perform the herniography of the diaphragm so it gives the working space particularly when you put the animal in the semi dorsal or dorsal recumbency for the repair of the diaphragmatic hernia so this is the basic two purpose uh, of doing the rhumatotomy in case of the diaphragmatic hernia because sometime uh, clinician ask the question why you perform the this rhumatotomy if you confirm the case previously or even before the rhumatotomy so this is the two reason why we go for the rhumatotomy and then after uh, 24 to 48 hour after rhumatotomy so depending on the condition so we go for the repair of the rent in the diaphragm for that uh, we prepare the this midline uh, linea alba post g5 because in that approach uh, it is easier to you can say go or repair the right side as well as the left side sometimes suppose if there is a misdiagnosis so at least you can approach the both side so i usually prefer this one this post G5 midline linear alba incision and after that then we catch hold the reticulum and then we deadhere the reticulum which is adhered with the ring in the diaphragm so once we retrieve the reticulum in the abdominal cavity then with the help of nylon thread or the silk whatever you have so with the help of that we repair rent and this all operation here we are normally doing in the deep sedation and the linear infiltration of 2% lignocaine hydrochloride solution and then also we spray the local anesthetic over the diaphragm so that when we manipulate so there won't be any pain so this is the how we manage the anesthetic protocol and mostly we perform uh, this uh, diaphragmatic hernia here in semi dorsal recumbency so that there is a less cardiovascular compromisation respiratory system is also less affected when you put the animal in the semi dorsal recumbency so now you could see here so after that then uh, we repair the this laparotomy incision in the post g5 and then we put the bandage like this as you see in this uh, video so this is fourth post operative day uh, video so now you could see this animal is taking feed and fodder uh, normally and uh, rumination is normal there is no tympani after operation if you see here so this left para number fossa this is the normal so there is no distension animal is defecating normally urinating normally and if you see here so we have given the fluid therapy only for the two days after operation because if you see here so i is you can say normal there is no sinking of the, this eyeball so overall this is the quite good recovery so the intention of uploading this uh, video is that just to uh, aware the you can say field veterinarian or whoever is watching this video you can perform the diaphragmatic hernia in the local anesthesia under the deep sedation without using the intermittent positive pressure ventilation because it is the general belief in the veterinarian that if you don't have the intermittent positive pressure ventilation so you can't perform the dh it is not like that yes risk is in both cases even i have seen uh, that uh, animal you can say die even 
after using the intermittent positive pressure ventilation so is a general belief yes the, there may be a chance that if you having the this intermittent positive pressure ventilation so recovery chances increases particularly in the critical condition but if the if you have the some skill if you have the confidence so you can perform the diaphoretic hernia in the field condition also you have to perform only two operation one in the rhumatomy and second is the repair that is normally is being done 24 to 48 hour after the first operation so this is all about this particular case i have already uploaded uh, one video on the diaphoretic hernia in detail so here in this video because it is very difficult to record the very difficult to show the rent in the diaphragm very difficult to show the intraoperative procedure because there is a lot of things happen which doesn't look nice when we upload so this is all about this particular case uh, so if you like this information so kindly share with your friends and subscribe the channel and if you want to become the members of the my channel so kindly click the join button and become the member and the benefit of becoming member is that you can enjoy those video which are exclusively for the members only so there are a lot of video which i made only for the members so if you want to see those videos so kindly become the member and enjoy and watch those video also so thank you very much for watching this video